There's a college football contest on Friday night, which will go a long way in determining who may be the group of five representative in the college football 12-team playoff this year as UNLV with a 5-1 and one record entertains Boise State, also 5-1. and one. That game goes at 10.30 p.m. Eastern time on Friday evening, and uh, it will be televised by the CBS Sports Network. Before I get to my pick and analysis on that game, just a couple friendly reminders, folks. Uh, right now, uh, you could just hit that subscribe button. I don't know what you're waiting for because it's 100% free. If you haven't done so already, that is. For those of you who have, we appreciate you and hope you're enjoying all the great content we put out on our channel. And uh, for those of you who haven't done this that have subscribed, or for new subscribers, go into your YouTube settings and provide yourself a nice convenience by clicking on the alert notification bell for Wager Talk TV, and you'll be notified immediately upon any of our great content going up on our great channel. Also, there's a like button right underneath me. Smash that like button, folks. Just a small token of your appreciation for the time, work, and effort I put into bringing you a quality free pick video uh, each day and each week. So in any event, let's move on and talk about that Boise State and UNLV matchup, a game I'm really looking forward to because it provides a lot of intrigue and I think will be a very entertaining affair. As a matter of fact, Boise State right now is a three-and-a-half-point favorite. The total in that game is 68. Uh, Boise's gone five and one. Their only loss came on the road at number one Oregon. They lose a three point decision in that game. Uh, I believe it was 38 35 or 37 34 in that area, high scoring affair. But Boise State gave the number one Ducks all they can handle on the road, and they did so as an 18 and a half point underdog. This team is explosive offensively, they average 46.8 points and 524 yards per game, and also a noteworthy 7.9 yards per offensive play the Boise State Broncos are averaging. That's a lot of chunk plays, folks, and a lot of that is because of their star running back, Ashton Gianti, who uh, in six games this year has run for 1,248 yards uh, and also rushed for 17 touchdowns. This guy is a number one draft choice waiting to happen this spring, barring injury. And, he, and uh, boy, oh, boy, this offense is good, and this running back is uh, someone, if you haven't seen him play so far, uh, tune in. You're going to be uh, quite impressed. UNLV, on the other hand, 5-1 and one as well. Their only loss, 44-41 in overtime to Syracuse. Um, this is a UNLV team that, uh, has gone over the total in three of their last four. And uh, regardless of that one under, they've still averaged a combined 75 points per game scored in those four contests. The UNLV defense that has started out so well in the first three games of the season has tailed off considerably over the last three games, allowing 41 points and 478 yards per game. And uh, by the way, Boise State, They've gone 4-0 and to the over this year when the total has been 60 or greater. This current total right now is 68. So, and no, those four games, by the way, 75.5 points combined scored per game. So these teams have both been involved in a lot of high-scoring affairs, and I believe this one will be no different. Now, I know this total is a high one in 68, but remember, folks, totals are this high for a reason and low totals – are that low for a reason. And I'm not going to let this big total scare me away, or huge number, I should say. I'm going Boise State, UNLV, over 68. That's Boise State and UNLV, over 68. Folks, uh, go to my uh, personal page, wt.buzz slash rb, college football annual package. You could purchase it right now. Um, if you're watching on Wednesday, it's 20% off all uh, daily picks and subscription plans. So you could take advantage of that. On top of the fact, uh, my college football since December 2nd of 2022 con continues to be number one in money earned at Wager Talk. Uh, my record during that time, okay, let me think for just a second here, and I hope I'm exactly right. I know I'm in the neighborhood, but I went into the week, uh, let's see here. 
I'm 35 games over 500. I'm at 59%, and I've made over $8,800 uh, in net profit. So there you have it. You can check out all my streaks at my personal link to wt.buzz slash rb, wt.buzz slash rb. I'll be back with more college football free pick videos shortly. Until the next time, take care and God bless, folks.